Every story starts with an idea, but the best stories start with unexpected ones. That cast iron can be beautiful. That running water can live under your feet. That no one said a room has to be square. That bold ideas, given shape, four walls, a roof, and a foundation can live beyond us and stand the test of time. Our story starts 200 years ago when the British architect William Jay's radical idea for a home for entrepreneur Richard Richardson took shape on the northeast corner of Oglethorpe Square. The home was unlike anything seen in Savannah at the time, with thick walls made of oyster shells, sand, and limestone that stood in contrast to the day's conventional red brick and wood construction, an ornate cast iron balcony facing south, and indoor plumbing that predated that of the White House. Other Savannah residents took notice, and soon Jay was working on a second breathtaking mansion, this one designed for Alexander Telfair and his siblings, with a strange octagonal room overlooking what is today Telfair Square. The bold ideas of these two buildings would shape the landscape of the city for years to come. More than 50 years after the mansion's construction, Alexander Telfair's sister Mary, heir to the family fortune, had another unexpected idea, that a smart, single, determined woman could establish the first art museum in the South. Mary gave her art, books, and artifacts to the Georgia Historical Society, and the Telfair family home became the Telfair Academy. 100 years later, another audacious Savannah woman, Margaret Gray Thomas, willed the Richardson Mansion to the museum as the Owens Thomas House, adding to Telfair's unique legacy. But our story doesn't end there. These two remarkable 200-year-old buildings entrusted to our care continue to embody untold chapters and inspire new generations that shape our time and will live beyond us that remind us art is a celebration of the unexpected. And like Mary Telfair and William J. believed, bold ideas are beautiful. <laughs>